5 seconds. Sir, this is the time to look at the performance of the general physical situation. I have listened with some attention to the remarks from the opposition. Everybody is worried. I heard my friend speaking and the honorable member who spoke just now also talked about the problems of the size of the deficit of non-plan expenditure, the question of continuing inefficiency or relatively less efficiency of public enterprises or the fear of the debt trap. These are familiar battle cries on the side of the opposition. At the same time, if you heard the earlier debates, the demand on behalf of the state for the net added transfer of resources from the center to states is still growing. The pressure is mounting. There is a demand for additional subsidy and continuation of existing subsidies. Then on the one side we talk about efficiency in economic management. On the other side we find different state government and particularly some of the neighboring state government indulging in populist approach towards repayment of loans from the banks or other sector of the government. Now, it is very difficult to reconcile the economic rationality of the demand and the economic rationality of the comments that the opposition members are trying to make. Let us look at the hard facts. The question is whether the economy is growing in terms of growth rate of the GNP or not. The fact is that it is growing at a very fast pace. In fact, the expected rate of growth of real income in the current year is likely to be around 9% which is much higher than what we have seen in the recent years. If you look at the sectoral composition of performance then the food pro production thanks to the bountiful monsoon and a more imaginative agricultural strategy particularly the food production strategy, we are finding a better performance. Of course, we depleted our buffer stock but as a result of the better crops and with some imports, we are trying to replenish our buffer stocks. Industrial growth has been very encouraging although in the last few months there has been a tendency at declaration and we hope by the year end the things will level up and our performance in the industrial sector will be well above the recent performance. It should be crossing 10 to 11 percent mark altogether. I heard my friend talking about the consumer's price index. There is no doubt that it is in the rise in 
the consumer's price index that the consumer faces the real punch but the increase has not been as alarming as we think particularly if we look at at the recent drought and the risks of likely increase in price which did not take place now so far as the consumer's price index is concerned it is closely related to the liquidity in the economy it is true that the liquidity is growing because disposal income has been growing because of different kinds of payments that we have committed whether it is the sixth pay commission and the cascading effect of that in the rest of the economy or the other salary settlements dearness allowances and all that this leads to demand inflation but on supply side if our buffer stock position is right and releases are timely and adequate all the operations both on the supply side and on the demand side of the buffer stock are efficient then we should have no fears it seems to me the very fact that the price index has not been rising at a very rapid pace shows that the supply management so far as the essential commodities are concerned has been somewhat efficient and this has given us a relatively better balance with demand now so far as the wholesale price index is concerned it is very encouraging as a matter of fact there was a slight pressure but if you take the latest figures there has been a declaration there what is particularly encouraging is that in the agricultural product group the rate of increase in the wholesale price index has been much less compared to the non agricultural commodity group however the fact remains that the resource position of the governments remains under strain when we talk of resource position we talk of three components number 1 what is the rate of the domestic savings particularly the net figures have been under serious stress fortunately the household sector performance has been good but the performance at the corporate sector level and particularly the saving in the public sector of the corporate particularly has been discouraging and much more discouraging has been the rate of the saving in the government sector so this is one area where substantial correction is required in order to generate adequate resource for investment the second component is related to revenue now if you take the total revenue picture the direct tax 
constitute 14% and indirect taxes constitute 85% which are increasing every year. Stop.